Welcome back, guys, and thanks for tuning in for a special edition of SpaceX Boca Chica News Brief. I gotta say, SpaceX has had a tremendous year down here in Texas, and we got a lot of cool video to show you. I really didn't start covering SpaceX until mid to late March, but uh, I have a lot of cool time-lapse video to show you. I think that you will all be pleasantly pleased with. From the hopper's first test to its first two launches, we have really had some spectacular things happen down here. Back in the midsummer, we had the hopper take off. We had a little 60-foot launch, and then we had a 150-meter launch. And uh, SpaceX really opened up the world's eyes when they shot the first water tower in the air. It was definitely a sight to behold. After they figured out that they could get that thing launched and landed with no problem, they really put some hustle in the bustle and started getting things moving out here in the rocket shipyard. They got Iron Hinge going up really quick. They got all the rings stacked up on Orby. We watched day after day as these worker bees put the outside paneling on Iron Hinge. That was pretty cool to watch. Then we got the wings or flings or whatever you want to call them put on Orby, which was really cool to watch. It was pretty neat to watch that big can take a stroll through the complex like that. SpaceX workers, third-party individuals, third-party contractors, they all put their heads together and really made this thing happen. These guys work day in, day out, 24 hours a day. You know, these guys really deserve some props out there. And before you know it, they had Orby down the road, all the way up to the launch pad. And in the end, well, it really didn't make it. We had a big explosion. I know some of y'all don't think it's an explosion, but yes, it was an explosion. You don't need fire for an explosion, guys. But with that being said, we're back to square one, and uh, we got some new designs happening. And uh, SN1 should be up and going, supposedly within just a few months as per Elon. So as we look back on this year, we got uh, quite a few different perspectives to look at. Uh, back in September, I did a, a flyover, and just a few days ago I did a flyover. So I'm doing a little comparison here with some uh, different shots to give you all an idea of how things have changed out there. For the most part, the rocket shipyard is really what's changed a lot. Man, we have seen so much groundbreaking out there. Uh, perimeters have been moved. Grounds been broken, new tents have been erected. It's just nonstop out there. The work keeps coming. We got new facilities being built. Stargates getting expanded. You know, there's just all kinds of new activity happening every day out here. So fast forward a few months and uh, things have really changed over here in the rocket shipyard. You can see by this transition here from September to December that there's quite a bit of action that has been going on and things have really changed. Over here at the gas plant facility near the launch pad, you can also see a huge difference. The uh, LOX farm, the methane tanks, everything has really changed out there. Over here at the landing pad, you can also see quite a bit of changes from September to December. Over to the east, you can see a tremendous amount of groundwork that has been done um, not sure exactly what's going to happen over here, but um, it's some type of extension to the landing pad. With this wide shot of the shipyard, you can also see the changes that have been made over to the west that have been encroaching on the Stargate facility. So there you have it, folks. 2019 was a spectacular year down here on Boca Chica Beach, Texas. And SpaceX, Good job. I hope to see that SN1 launch in three months like y'all plan to. As for everyone else, I wish y'all a happy new year. And uh, I can't wait to watch SpaceX get this party started down here. It's going to be a great one, guys. We'll check you out on the flip side. Lab Padre out.